Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Benaroya Hall, home of the Seattle Symphony. It's time for our winner bracket semifinals. The first match, DK versus Alliance. Bernie missing a few CS here under the tower. In fact, quite a few. I mean, he still is farming oh, pretty well. Here oh. we go here. We're going to see initiation right on Amro Bulldog. Is he going to be the first blood? He has no mana TP out here, and we're going to see the rotation coming the creeps, out. Oh, the creeps flux, flux. denied by the neutrals. Bulldog gets a big bailout oh, from these, the stack. These trees are coming. He's going to go for the kill. Are we going to see a suicidal TP coming from Amro Bulldog? Nothing, but of course, great deny. And I do want to point out, Bulldog. Here oh, go. here we go. Blink, initiation, supers caught. They need the chain stun. Stomps there. He's low, and he's dead. Never had a chance. Alliance, quick and efficient. Does not have his ultimate just yet. You'll have in a couple seconds. And they're diving mid now. They have caught out S4. Shackled, nope, not going to latch. S4 low and S4 dead. But if Burning falls, it'll be a great trade for the Alliance. And Burning is going to fall one for one. But when you get a Battle Fury out, you got to say advantage. No, Ooh, maybe EGM not. In huge trouble. EGM gets picked off here. Make it a two for one. And maybe then it's DK's trade or at least an even one. Well, they're going to work on that tier one tower. They have the siege unit. They're going to blow through everything. And of course, they have mech available in about 30 seconds. Let's see if Alliance can make this event. They don't have Glyph. Okay, though, coming back. No, where's he going? Looks like they're trying to steal Lotus stack. Oh, keep, keep. Grand Theft Agents, here we go. I'm not sure whether you want to take this fight against three chain creeps over there. Dual Breath gets dropped out here. Look I for S4. Burn. Flame breaks in. Lasso's burning, pulling it back. Burning's trapped on the far side of the cliff, but running for dear life. Mech's there from RTK, already used. Burning's still alive. Wall deployed. Disruption. Bulldog low. Bulldog dead. QQQ the trade. Lotus standing strong. Burning on the run. Alliance seeming to pull ahead here. Three dead. Could be five soon. Burning will fall. Four heroes dead. You can't even take their ancients without paying the price, Lumi. Super is like 1v4. His team's back up. S4 sticking around for a while. The tier 1 fallen made it. Goes to Alliance. Now they gotta get out. They surge in Super. Not that he needs the move speed. Now with an Ion Shell trying to burn two supports. He wants two kills. Ake's gonna fall. Look for EGM to be in a lot of trouble here soon. It's gonna be a quick death perhaps for EGM. Dodges the Swarm. Still running. But they surge in Super. He needs a Shackle here. He's running close to the tree line. He's low. And he is gonna fall. Killing screen for Super. So Bulldog is a player that really seems to favor Orchid on his Nature Prophet. Here we go. Sprout on RTK. He mechs up, but now he's shackled. And no, he doesn't even need the shackle. Now a disruption. QQQ, too late to the party. Loda will fall low. 5,000, not that big of a deal. And they're going on Bulldog. He does have a TP available here, so they have detection. The gem's there. He's got a TP soon. Bulldog does. He gets back, back. No way out. And Bulldog will fall. Another kill for DK. You have a big target for S4 in your right. head. That's why he's a target. Yeah, you, you get initiated on. And RTK is already a huge Blinks, target. Oh. He forced stats and he'll break the Lincolns, but Super's still alive. Shackle's there. He is going to fall. Burning, throwing out a stun. Coming in, he's got Aegis, but he's got no mana. And no chemical rage. It's just not a good time for him to oh fight. Goodness. In fact, Nets. he's in trouble. Net it up. Nets. Lotus thinking about initiation. Mana Void, a huge ult. Now on the QQQ. Sprouted up. Held in position. Alliance stands. Standing strong against an Aegis, they want to pick this fight. Bulldog on the run. There's no detection. No, there is. Now Bulldog caught. They gancer back. 10 to 9, but Vice Pass there, not enough. Too low for DK. Loda still at full HP. Burning. Nets. Netted. Held in Nets. place. Blinky forward. Loda cleaning house. And Burning just can't get a hit off. Oh my god, the team fight's not over yet. S4. He fireflies over the death of the ally. It's that damn mobility for DK uh, for Alliance. I mean, I think Aki won that team fight for, for Alliance. Four nets on the enemy carry, just using it whenever it's called, uh, coming off cooldown. Melk says this guy can micro. Now we see why. Yeah, in the clutch, Ake delivering, and Alliance just in control Ooh, of this game. Yet. Here comes Burning. He shadow blade, but he didn't channel his stun yet. Now we'll try to, but he's revealed. Lasso's up. Burning could be caught here. No, slap and chop. One to fall. They're always defending the push. They're never starting the fights. Roche is back online now. They'll try and force a fight at the Roche pit, but we saw what happened last time. Will DK get burned again? Immediately, Alliance towards the pit. Scouting it out. It's falling pretty fast, but Burning's getting bashed. Alliance know what's up, and now we keep our eyes on S4. He's got a leap. He could come in soon. Lotus there as well, and they need to back off. Are they already too late? There's a net on Burning. Where's that lasso? S4 looking. Leaps and catches him. Disruption needs to be on the mark. Blink. Back from ROTK. Ice pad as well, but Lotus with a BKB is God right now. They just can't touch him. Standing strong. He gets bashed, though. Now Stun! Lona in trouble! Uh, we won't try to miss out! Not enough! Lona falls! Immediate buyback! Now Ake goes sceptered and driven back, and ROTK with that big vacuum may have just turned this fight. Lasso 
Still five seconds off, but S4 is prepping to go. Power shot into the pit. Roche is low, but will DK get caught? In comes S4. Lassoing Bernie, and he's stunning right now. There's your ice pad that's pretty good. The swarm as well. Bernie gets off the stun, and it's a bulldog. Top locked in position for now. Bernie still running. The Aegis, though, it has fallen, picked up by Super. And give DK a nice little victory in that fight. Loda, BKB Ooh. leaping in. But a Ghost Scepter from Dai keeps him in fighting condition. If he gets bashed, Loda is dead. He'll blink out. The stun flies. Four staff. S4, four staff to freedom. Down to the low ground and he'll live. But they only lost the Shadow Demon. The EGM's almost got to sight the vice Are on that support Windrunner. Maybe trying to snipe the Roche. No, they want to pick off. Super, Lincoln's up though. Shackle to fly. Now they need a lasso. Super BKB though. He might end up getting S4. In comes Burning, focusing S4, but he already lassoed. Using his BKB for that nice start, but they need something more. Using uh, all your stunts for a bat rider. Can they roast? They're going to get racks if they go for this. Look at the tower fall. Alliance just maneuvering around and forcing on the reaction from DK. Now though, they've caught Loda. He blinks south and he will end up escaping. So Roche not oh, being BKB, played down. he wants ROTK. The bashes are coming out. Defensive disruption. He now wants super. Nice backtrack. Huge ultimate. That's a kill. He gets out live. Loda buying so much time for his allies. And there is no Roshan going on despite S4 being dead for about 15 more seconds. So this Roche will be contested. Will it be in time? Alliance. They don't want to give an Aegis and a cheese away. That's a lot. And here comes EGM. Scouting out with a power shot. It's too late. Roche has fallen. Cheese on the deck. S4 though. Disrupted. He could fall after this. But BKB's lasso's burning. Where where is Loda? That's the big question. Oni now joining the fight. Burning though, no chemical rage. Loda focusing him, steals the region, bashes him as well. He still has Aegis. Abyssal on Loda, but now the Aegis is down and no, Burning didn't have it. He actually is gonna fall. Super driven back. Alliance finding a way once again. Now the Aegis falls. The cheese is up on QQQ. Alliance give away oh, Roche, and here. they win the Super. fight. He's gonna try to fight his way out there, gets no silenced, way. gets shackled, no and Alliance way. somehow, some way. This Weaver just doesn't do enough damage to do with Loda. At this point, Loda will 1v1 anyone except for Burning, and Burning didn't have Chemical Rage, ended up dying before he could even pop it off and couldn't get back into the fight. Now, it looks like Alliance want to take a first lane of Rack. In come Anti-Mage Illusion, Burning sights up. BKB from Loda, straight onto ROTK. Mata Void there, slam and jam and brings him down. Down. Burning now, BKB well lassoed. He can't really fight, or can he? Now he's channeling a stun, could go on Loda, he'll unleash it, but Ant Alliance are not gonna fight a fair fight against Burning. They're just kiting him, surrounding him, and chipping away. Alliance leading now, 24 to 16. There's no Burning buyback. Is dead, and that just might be game. There's no buyback, and right now DK dead for 90 seconds on the strongest, that's, strongest hero. That's Mega Creep, that's, game. that's GG. DK are gonna fall in game one of this best of three. Alliance, Orchid, and Scythe. It really makes a difference, because you can see Bernie just never got to fight. Oh, Here we S4. go, on to die. Lasso's him up, S4, he's pulling that Jakir out of the base. Here comes Loda, he wants some kills. Focusing Super, backing off now though. Bernie's coming soon, they get the Jakir, they will retreat out, Super giving chase. DK know that they have to make something happen now. Ooh, they see they Bulldog. Want Bulldog, but he's gonna BKB, dodges the stun. Do they keep on fighting, Loda? He oh, really Q -Q -Q wants to leave. Shackled. Oh my goodness. Disrupted. I... Meanwhile, it's just illusions cleaning up the racks, but here comes the TP from Bulldog. On to Adai. Now sprouting Bernie. He's isolating everyone. Forces out a 10 second BKB. Oh, Bernie trapped. He's just completely trapped here. Now a back wall, but it's great four steps. Everybody's spreading to the winds, and Alliance are just completely juking bash, the bash, pants bash. off of DK. RNG Jesus, Loda. Oh my god. And they will force out GG from DK. And that was a GG. Alliance, could you point to a mistake that game? I hardly feel like there were any that mattered. And Dragonite's nice against Anti-Mage, because he has a low mana pool, He's, so even if you lose all your mana, Mana Void's not going to hurt you too much. You have high armor, so the physical damage isn't as big of a deal. 12, 15 minutes in. It's already a lot faster. Yeah, a lot faster, and oh, Beastmaster on the mid lane here. They want S4 dead. Do they have this follow-up chain stun here? Iron Shout even on top. Magic Wand not really helping out. Bottle through a couple more right clicks. Yes, they will get the first blood, and it's going to be MMY, and that just goes back to the point of getting level 6s on your support, because these kills gets a lot easier. But Alliance looking to reply 
Sky. They've got a Song. They've got a Loda Shadow Blade. Is DK ready for this? They are. Sentry Ward in the lane. In comes Loda, but straight into Dial Go. Gets off the stun. There's no Carapace in time. Now Roar and Loda dropping fast and furiously. He'll fall. There's your, not your, your Chen ult, but it's a bit too late. EGM. Well, can he duke it out? RTK will fall. One for one so far. Another Impale on EGM. Low, but not dead yet. Still has a Song. Can't get it off. He's going to die as well. Rare mistakes here from here Elias. Comes burning on the back line. Sees Ammo. Does he Loda? Oh, Manavar misses. Oh, he's not going to get the kill. They want S4 instead. The stop from the Centaur is going to delay S4 on the run. Does that magic wand charges? Will pop it. In fact, Flame Brave back. And now Super taking a ton of more damage. Body blocking coming out from Centaur. They're going to get the kill. The micro from Aki is just doing it. Burning still back in the fight, but without Mana Void. Look to clear out the camps, or rather the catapult. and. Do they push? Ah, oh, they're not going to. Now a net and RTK. Loda joining the fight. RTK caught. Netted up, but nice and pale. Catches Ake in the river. He's going to go down for RTK. Now Bulldog comes in, looking for another trade. Solo Sub just there. Not enough yet, but Bulldog low. Where's those last hits? They're, oh, oh, uphill miss. Too much. Bulldog's going to live. Now Alliance. Defending oh, Bulldog's running in. Bulldog. What's he doing? Bulldog. Aggressive play gets punished. Could have been an opening, but S4 will dodge away from that. Will Bernie get the last hit? Yes, he will. Did I even have to ask? Beast Master War comes in right now. We need a send back. S4 dropped a quarter. Here comes the send back. Will he make it back? I think not. No. What a kill. EGM gets caught out. So ROTK finds a double for the team. They could be chasing for a little bit more. Great micro here from Aki, as per usual. We'll save the Centaur at least, but a huge advantage. Yeah, we'll have to... Oh, they're going in now and die. He's got Vendetta. He's going to run, and there's a Sentry, Ooh. but it's... Oh, it's just in range. He's out of range. Actually, oh, he's in range. There's another Sentry, but Roar on S4. Here comes the Cavalry for DK. Double stun into effect. S4 low, and S4 will fall yet again. QQQ, however, there's your trade. Where's Burning? He's pushing top. Not available to help in this fight. One for one. They got the DK, and Burning's farming. Melee heroes overall. It's a push aside. Oh, here we go. On to the top lane, they're looking oh, for dust. Bulldog. Die sprints the trap. He was waiting in the trees. Now he impales him. There's a mana void here. No, oh, the no mana void. He's even on Entredge, and he still doesn't have it. Self sprouting, but back back. There's no escape for Bulldog. Now goes down again. The song song was wasted by EGM, or maybe not. Here comes a stun from Loda. Can he set anything good up here? RTK running, only stunning QQQ. The visage though, chain stun up. Loda with a BKB. One to fall. Now a net on burning. They're bringing him down pretty fast. He mantas, but still he's caught. He's now he's dragon tailed. And Burning's gonna die! What a trade! Double kill going on Burning's or on Loda so far. Impel nicely done, but they will find MMY. One more ensnare is gonna do it. Off oh, getting fogged. There's the ensnare. And MMY. No, Loda sends himself, but it shouldn't matter too much as they have three heroes surrounded. No buyback coming out from anybody. MMY delays it for a long time. He will go down. Almost though. If they get that pick off, they might force a buyback. Ooh. At least. With back on cooldown, they could actually make a defense. There's a Psalm Siren to initiate Burning, getting low caught out. He does not have BKB. These birds trying to get some suns. He does get one off Burning, gets sprouted. He should be absolutely. Absolutely fine. The team fight goes the other way here. Loda, 1v4. He's going to work right now, but he's surrounded by illusions. He's still not going down. Worse, Burning. Burning getting bashed. Burning goes down. Admiral Bulldog with the double kill. They see ROTK. He blinks away. MMY. Can he use Vendetta? No. Admiral finds yet another one. TPR attempt. The stun. The mini stun. Loda finds the haste as well. They will get him and they will keep on moving. MMY. Survivor in this particular team fight, but that was a huge victory for Loda and Alliance. We've talked about Naga as a support. Sometimes she feels weak if Song isn't really used to maximum effect, but it's to maximum effect this game. And all of a sudden, Alliance straight to the bottom lane. They say, Burning, you better buy back, buddy. He doesn't actually have it. They're trying to breach the high ground here. Loda in the front lines. Basher's coming. Roche up soon. If they get this lane of Rax, Roche will be much harder to contest for Team DK. Will Alliance commit? No big commitment yet. Just sitting back. Now looking for a net. Super's really far. They're going on QQQ. BKB from Aloda. One's down. Now he's got to run. Bulldog will as well. They back back in. Bulldog. Still Loda retreating out. Roar on Bulldog. Looks like it might be a kill. Bulldog gonna fall. There was a buyback on this. It's Bulldog dead. Sending home. They have Naga Siren sleep. Watch Alliance as they try to set up a big counter. There's a Song of the Siren already online because EGM's level 13, so they have Song to contest this. There's no BKBs on DK. Look for an Aegis snipe here from Alliance. Already the Song to fly. Roshan comes out of the pit, but the big boy's still pretty tanky. Loda prepping a stun. It could hit three. It could hit four. It's gonna hit three. Oh no! S4 trapped though. Burning strikes first. Everyone in the pit's fine. Now Roar and Loda. Beautiful focus fire. DK are winning this fight. Loda now 
driven back for the time being, comes through the wall. Three to fall, DK overrunning Alliance at the pit, and they might just get Roach. Forget Song, forget Loda, forget S4. Super initiates or counter initiates. Now HS goals are burning. The fun ends here. Here we go. Burning, heading towards the high ground. They'll wait for the creep wave to commit. They can't go on him, not with this Aegis. There's no tier three here. There is a song available. In comes S4. Burning trying to clear off the trend creep. He does get stunned. But remember, he's got Aegis. They'll Dragon Tail. They'll slow him down. But with the evasion, he's hardly being scratched. Loda, reluctant to go in. Roar on EGM. Are they going to leap for this? They are. But unfortunately, EGM's been pulled away. Can he get off a song? Where's that Mono Void? He's chained to. No, he gets it off. But the BKBs for Alliance are down. I don't know if this is their fight, Lumi. A lot of wall illusions. Burning leaping in. He's jumped into. Five. He's got Aegis, but he's gonna fall. Big win for Alliance. Now they need to get the hell out. Burning's coming back. Two heroes sprouted. Is Alliance actually gonna hold this? Unbelievable. Burning getting stunned up right now. He's still dealing with a whole bunch of Chen Creeps forced that forward. They gotta say, oh, why? Well, let's actually go for the Rex. MMY, huge trouble. They are trying to run out. Alliance makes a defense. Another stun goes on Burning. Half HP. The birds are coming in. Trying to. Oh, man. Tassau comes back out. He will blink away, but that's Aegis used on a huge advantage and not getting a single Rex. Can they make it out alive? That's a question. Or will they turn? Burning? Is he gonna wait on the high ground? Beastmaster Roar, they see ammo. He's no coming back. He push for you and now DK Burning. His HP's back up to full. He thinks he can make some big plays. There's no song now. Burning might just be able to do this. Sure, there's no Aegis, but there's no song either. It, by himself, he will not put out as much damage as Loda. S4 as well as Bulldog we'll with similar farm. Here comes the team fight though. Burning lun lunging forward. He's gonna get stunned to start this fight. BKB from S4. They need the chain stun, but they've isolated Loda. Roared him up. Now Burning marching forward. BKB from both. Who's gonna win the man fight? It's too many bashes from Loda. Burning's driven back. Loda though, dropping low. Now psyched up. It pale to fly as well. Burning jumping in again. One more over the breach. On to Baki. They'll go. Two will fall. Loda will buy back. And now Bulldog tries to run away. A song was used for this. I think DK is going to be angling for a fight right now. And if they take one lane of Rex, can the line stop them from taking two? There's no BKB. It is cooling down. They'll tail, Dragon Tail burning. They'll slow him down. That stun only hits one on the Visage. He is pretty low, but burning is just immune to damage. Oh now a blink in effect. ROTK delivers, but a beautiful song from EGM. Buying him time. BKB burning. He's isolated during this song. He's dropping fast. Mana Void's there. He's still alive. Burning says, let's right click. I got Vlad's, I got everything. S4 buys back, he TPs and pops a BKB and Burning just right click the Rex. He's found it, he's got it. Keep in mind the tier three towers up top low. Are they gonna go for it? Buybacks coming out for here from Alliance, but they just can't get a kill. Everybody's alive, they see our TK. He uses the cheese, he's back alive. Burning looking there for they more. Go. This Double arm. familiar stun on S4, back in, dropping in a hurry, sent home. But EGM, no such luck, his fate is death. Burning seals it with a mana void and DK one lane of Rex down pressing for two this could be the end of the undefeated run of the Alliance unstoppable they look but DK have struck back they're gonna take game two it feels Alliance not dead yet but close to being burning. so He's burning now three lanes of Rex he wants the win and he wants it now DK burning that's gonna be mega creeps and the question that we are all asking is can Alliance come back from mega creeps even gods may bleed the Alliance unstoppable thus far. 45 minutes in, just got Mega Creep. DK, they kept on beating their head against that wall. And finally, oh, they broke it through. Even on TK isn't an easy kill. S heading towards the north. He's got Blink. And you got to go back to that fight and say, ROTK. I mean, Bulldog did get one lane of Rax during this, but that's Mega Creeps. From here, and they'll be forced to fight against a buyback Anti Mage, a buyback Beastmaster. In fact, everyone is buyback right now. Aside from that Darkseer, the key hero who can't die is RTK. A roar to start on the Lotus. Song immediately prepped. EGM with the counter initiation. The birds are but keeping the birds, him locked down. They're keeping him locked down. Burning now. The song's expended. Will he go for the Rex? No. He goes for the kills. On to Bodo. Bodo to fall. Now Loda. Loda's dead. And it looks like the Swedish Giants may yet fall. They're dropping fast. Burning's on, out of control. GG. GG. And DK are going to take game two and knock out down the undefeated Alliance. Their first loss of the International Three. DK has done it. And nobody believed that Alliance could be defeated, but DK said all the days work. They're not even excited. Oh my god. DK.
And they're on their feet here. This might be North America, but there's a lot of DK fans in the house. We're going to see Alliance go for Nature's Prophet. All Alliance needs to do is shore up their early game and then split push the hell of DK. And I'm not, I'm not sure whether DK has enough mobility to deal with all these users. Unless, unless Clockwork goes Boba Mold and keep poking Prophet. Just trying to zone Burning off the wave while Loda deals with the skeletons. Meanwhile, back in the middle here, S4 doing a little bit of harass. He's trying to run down super, super six stacks here. Right clicks are doing so much damage. Oh, that's going to be it, I think. Yes, that's first blood. S4 outplaying Alchemist mid. Oh, he says, okay, let's go for round two. Wrapping around the trees right I now. Mean, it's Bulldog. so smart to Oh, he's in trees. the fog. Now he's going to be revealed. Will there be a TP reaction? Self-sprouted. Here comes S4. Are they going to commit for this kill? Bulldog's low. Burning's here as well. It's going to be a three-on-one. Not a good fight for S4 at all, but more support is coming. Burning lassoed up. Cogs are there. There's still a hook available if S4 chooses to dive. He's going to get stunned again, but Loda's into the fray. Where's that stun going? It's on to Loda. RTK wants to hook and kill him off, but not able to. While that's happening, though, you're, it looks like you're not Naga dies top, Ake's low, and still S4's chasing. Oh, TK He's drops gonna the pay for this. And it will push back S4, and now the game goes the other way, because Burning is doing so much less than them. Oh my god, Burning with the cleave, with the right clicks, and Burning joining these early game kills, getting RTK. a ton of experience. Low, oh, the Prophet ult, it didn't actually do enough. He's cast it on the clock. Keep on forcing the tempo if you're DK, because if you just let a line sit back, then this happens. They'll jump in now. They're looking for S4. He gets lassoed and pulled back to the high ground. Into an Illuminate. Stopped at the perfect position. Bulldog's there, and they only want MMY. He ran in to save him, and now S4 will find two. Alliance strike back with a vengeance. Man, even Burning uses Haunt there, so Haunt's going to be off cooldown for for quite a bit. Blink Dagger gets picked up on S4. Oh, this tier 1 tower is really huge trouble. He's I'm not hiding. sure if he can He's get all out. the way to the left. They're going to find him soon. He's stuck around a while. There's a rocket to fly. Bulldog not reacting to it. But now self sprouting. Will there be cogs? There are. S4's here, but he's lifted up in the middle of his ultimate. Too low. It looks like Alliance might lose more. Maybe not. S4 is doing way too much damage. Now burning on the run. In comes Loda. EGM as well. Alliance with five heroes into the fight. They're going to fight two. They might fight three. Die is in trouble, and Die is dead. Oh my god. Huge meltdown here for DK. Burning thought he was safe. Easy pick up on Bulldog, and suddenly Alliance. Like ninjas out of the trees, they just came one after another. Whatever the case is, he has a haunt in. Make sure he doesn't die. Make sure he gets a little bit of Cisco. If he gets a last hit, he gets a last hit. Back in the mid lane, though. That's a kill going the other way. MMY. Well, the song's stolen. Gotta walk out the fire. MMY says, what see ya later. Turn DGM, around from thanks. Super. Here's your stun. He throws it on Ake. Hook in from ROTK. Nails it, but now it's to run. They're fighting in the fire flight. It's a lot of damage. Bernie joining the fray. He's jumping in, but now he's backing off. He can't Ooh. make up his mind. ROTK low. He's gonna live. Hand of God thrown out just to ensure the safe retreat. In the end, they do get a Keeper of the Light, but by, by the time they get there, Flaming Lasso is going to be up, and DK will not have Haunt. They won't have Burning, at least not with most of his damage. DK will try to defend, but this fight Ooh. could go poorly. There they go. They've caught up Bulldog. Four staffed away, though. S4. Brilliant save. Now RTK. Oh, his God. own Cogs turned against him. Illuminate on everyone. There's your hand of gun. RTK to fall. Now they've trapped Super. Bernie running out. Now running in. Can't make up his mind. EGM might fall. Where's their stun being channeled? Just now unleashed. Five back o'clock. They really want to fight, but Loda slowly oh. and surely, along with Aki, driving them back. Spamming the Illuminate. Illuminate, spamming the lances, and now hunting for more kills. Well, not gonna get those kills just yet. TP in for EGM, trying to make those plays. Trin's being summoned. He's trying to 1v4. He sees Q, 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 but no, Bulldog. Do they have detection? There's a dust. There's a lance coming on as well. They will trap Loda in it. Nobody focusing. They want, but now they go back to Loda, but now ROTK getting hugely focused. Defensive force to have. ROTK's okay. Nobody's oh. actually dying. How is this happening? And but Bulldog's still going for the kill. He's not gonna find one either. Oh, RTK, yes oh, he will, jams RTK. it in, they forced out an RTK buyback, now he dies again, and what looked like at one point an interesting game, I mean now it gets really tough for DK. Alliance are just going to try to starve DK oh, out. Top and now burning. they're diving, burning at the base. The tier three isn't even safe. Burning will fall. Alliance having all the answers here. And DK, where is the reply? We've yet to really see it. That is the worst thing for DK burning. Looking up, flying vision, looking for super. He sees it up front. He's going to get for super. Super gets pulled back, and he is going to get melted. Does he have, He uses a mech for himself as well. That means even if he buybacks. That's Roche. Alliance going straight towards the Roche pit. You want to go for MMY, you want to go for Super. 
There is buyback available now on Super. Are they going to make a jump? Yes, they will. They find him. They lasso him back. And Clockwork disengaged, perhaps, but he gets hexed. Right. What a hex coming up from Ammo Bulldog. Easy cleanup. Burning huge trouble right now. Does he have buyback? Oh, no. He's going to get picked up. Force that forward. Somehow burning still alive. My goodness. They hold. They hold. Your item. I mean, it doesn't actually do anything in terms of, let's say, damage he output. Yeah, it doesn't get you away from the Nautilus there. Lasso Melee. again, super. He thought it was safe to leave his base, and he was very, very wrong. Now he's low, and now he's dead. And with that kill, there's still an Aegis up on load, and now there's a Reaver, and the Alliance will go again. Is there a buyback here on the Alc? There is, but even just forcing out. No, on the QQQ they go. If they get more kills, that could be it. Haunt faded out. Now the song completely counters it. Nothing here for burning, and they get a kill as well with the Illuminate, canceling the song at the last second. Here comes RT. Teamwork. Finds EGM. Can he make out a lot? Trying to cast everything, but there's no cast when Rocket Barrage. Four or five years of, of seeing this particular hero, she could just somehow give you those question mark team fights. Uh -oh. she, Not again. DK, they can't keep on getting picked off. Oh, Die no. on the run, but he gets caught by the lasso. S4 is literally everywhere. So too is Lota pulled back in, and now the Alliance with that pick up and with oh, QQQ. He's got a gem and he's going to die. No way out against S4. Dropping in a hurry. There could be a mech from Super. Ooh. It'll buy him some time. Nice. Actually going to live. Wow, nice defense. They find the kill. No, Loda's not done yet. That illusion's Ooh, tanky. The micro. Constant. The play break. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Are we so going to see close. a profit TP? But, but doesn't matter. Straight into mid. There's no haunt here for Bernie. 20 seconds off. The glyph. Bernie TP's in as well. He gets Lance. He's driven back. Bulldog's now got an MKB. And the, with the glyph down and no haunt up, this could be the Rex. Now they net him. Will they go on him? There's no lasso. It, for now, just focusing him. The illusions are really hurting Burning. Driven back, he wants to defend. Super goes in, stuns himself, and now he's in a whole world of trouble. Sawn on, sawn off, he's got and buyback. Alliance he's got buyback. He's got hot. Here we go, Burning's coming back. He gets one kill. He's looking for more Burning in the middle team fight. He gets focused, he's gotta survive. There's nothing else if he dies. QQQ -Q -Q getting focused, he's trying to run. QQQ -Q -Q also go down, Burning's netted. They're gonna focus him down. The last hope for DK, just no. Yes. Yeah. He dies. he dies! Yes, he dies! In the end, there is only the Alliance unstoppable! They march down the middle lane, Rax will fall, Bernie bought back, triple kill for Bulldog, absolutely crushing performance, and DK will tap out, and the Alliance are guaranteed a top three finish at the International Three. You can take a game off them, but good luck taking a series. I'm just lost for words, DK play well enough to hold on, but you just cannot stop this push. They, they repelled it once, twice, three times.